Hi, my name is Tula and um, 11 days ago I started learning uh, cursive and 10 days ago I started with uh, copper plate calligraphy writing. Um, it's also called engrossers or engravers script and I want to share with you 10 things that I learned in these 10 days and maybe you can uh, learn from my mistakes and also from what worked for me. So I have um, 10 points I want to mention and I think I'll break them up into 10 separate short videos. So my first point is using a guide sheet. If you try to write on a blank piece of paper as a beginner of course your writing will be very wavy and also in copper plate you have a very specific 55 degree angle that you have to maintain and I think it's um, very hard to remember this angle if you have no guidelines and maybe as we progress and move on we can use blank pages or just less less guidelines but initially I really recommend using guidelines um, let's see I think I have here these are all my training sheets yes this is from day four I think and I used a uh, watercolor high quality paper and I made the lines myself and I do want to say one thing about making your own guidelines because I was really confused by it maybe I'm not the only one um, so the degree you're supposed to use is 55 degrees but where do you start it you measure your 55 degrees from the vertical line from the horizontal line I wasn't sure um, what I eventually did was um, download some uh, exemplars of, uh, of this script and I enlarged it on my screen and then I took this little uh, ruler and I measured and then I knew it was the correct angle. So what works for me is um, if I put my... Um, this ruler on the horizontal line I, I mark it in the middle and then I measure 55 degrees from this side from over here it's uh, 125 and 155 from this side is right here and then I can make a line and you can also use your ruler to duplicate your line. So if I made this one first, I can make another one here, move it on and make another one, etc. Um, I also printed myself some guide sheets in uh, InDesign because um, making a guide sheet when you're practicing and you're using so much paper on your tests and on uh -huh. upside down on writing each letter and practicing it's way too much too many lines to to draw for the guidelines so I think you're better off printing one and I also realized I had this one I you see ten clings so I decided not to use this one but I have um different sizes of the um, spaces between the horizontal lines some produce larger letters some produce much smaller ones and you have to find your sweet spot I think for now the six millimeter space for me was too much this is about uh, three and a half millimeters and it was too small I'm tra trying now uh, four millimeters in between the horizontal lines and so far it's it's better than the three and a half anyway um, writing the um, 
X8 letters on the 6mm was very comfortable but uh, I'm left handed and I use a straight holder and if I had descending letters and I would then go up to write uh, an ascending one I keep smearing my ink before it's dry and also making these loops you can see they're still very wobbly so I, I train with uh, a little smaller size gr grid at the moment um, one other thing about the, the slant is that um, most of the information I found does mention 55 but you can use anything between 45 and 60 it also depends on the specific script um, oh yeah um, another point is that initially I just printed like we have here just a few um, um, slant lines to give myself an idea and of where I need to go and when I created this um, these guide sheets my lines became tighter and very close together and this proved actually to be very convenient because um, as I'm writing I can use it to form my uh, letters for example if I make an oval it fits very nicely inside these tight guidelines whereas with uh, a wide space between them I still have to pretty much guess and remember okay I'll see you in the next video bye